Hey guys, so I'm sorry, I have to do a part four. I, you know, I really should have split this up better, but oh well. I, I This is how I had it set up, so I'm going to continue this way. Hopefully there isn't a part five, but I can't promise anything. But anyway, back to organic cotton and why to go organic cotton. Like I said in my previous part four, Conventional cotton uses a huge amount of pesticides, and pesticides are very harmful, they're chemicals, um, and most pesticides are very harmful for the people who are applying them, and then they're very harmful for us to be exposed to in the clothes, because there's a question of whether or not the uh, pesticides ever actually really wash out, and how long if they do wash out, how long it takes for them to wash out. And they're really, I've tried to find research, if you know of any research, like any studies that have done anything about this, I'd be fascinated to know, to read about them. So please, if you know anything about uh, the, the pesticide use in clothing and about that, or even like polyester and the plastics used in clothing and whether that affects our health, um, or even the dyes used, the conventional, traditional dyes used in textile, uh, the, in the textile industry. Any of studies on any of that would be fascinating for me to read. Just, I would love that. So, like I said, if you ha know any of that, definitely leave a link down below, please. But, so the whole thing, that's the whole thing with conventional cotton. So that's, that's the thing. And, like I was saying, with the polyester, nylon, and spandex, they're all plastic, which is something that we don't really think about that, but a, a majority of our clothes either are completely plastic or at least partially plastic. So that, that kind of threw me off as well, and especially because I'm trying to do the use, doing less plastic thing to try to lessen the amount of plastic that I'm exposed to and also the amount of plastic that will have to be reused or be thrown out either by me or somebody else so that's just a that kind of threw me off when I realized that polyester nylon and spandex are plastic that's just kind of was almost mind-boggling to me but and then the other thing too is that so you're like okay I want to get organic cotton and like I said in the other video um, GOTS is typically the certification that's used, the, the organization that certifies uh, cotton as being organic. So even if it doesn't say that, if it's organic cotton, great. You went to Walmart, you went to Target, you're trying to get something for either yourself or for maybe uh, your child or something, and yay, it's organic cotton. Awesome. Is it dyed with low impact dyes? Because if it isn't, if it's dyed with traditional dyes, then it actually ends up being, sadly, almost as harmful as if you bought a traditional cotton garment. Because of the dyes used, they're actually very harmful as well. I need to do more research into this to figure out exactly what the um, harmful effects are, but even just for the environment. The nice thing about low impact dyes is the fact that it can actually be the dye can actually be reused over and over, which with traditional dyes you can't. But there is also a health component as well. I just don't know. I did read a little bit about it, but I just don't know enough to actually be like, okay, this is the issue. So that is something to really think about. I would not trust or recommend any organic cotton clothing from Walmart, Target, any big industry like that, I would say just don't buy clothes from them, period. I think they... Anyway, so having said all that, I'm going to talk about a company that I actually did find that I love. Now, uh, the this is a, a woman-owned business, and it's only one woman, but it's at this point, it's just women's clothing, but there are a bunch of other companies out there that are doing organic cotton clothing dyed with low impact dyes or not even dyed at all, it's just undyed organic cotton clothing for infants, kids, men, and along with women. So it's not 
just um, this company. So the company that I'm talking about is Within Organics and there were a couple uh, things that I was really looking for in the company. One, that most of the clothes, most of like the shirts were made in the US and also that it was low impact dyes and also that it was pretty. <laughs> Something that I'd actually want to wear that I'd actually want to be seen in. And so the as you can probably have guessed from my one jester, is that this tank top is actually from them. It has a sun on it, and the night really cool thing about this company, it's, it said, did I say the name of the company? It's Within Organics. If I didn't say it, I'm really sorry, sorry if I didn't, but the really cool thing about Within Organics is all the things that I just previously said, but not only that, but it's about positive affirmation. So with this one, it is I am radiant and it says it on one of the little sun rays and considering that my blog and my YouTube channel is Sunny Mother Nature, a sun I think is very appropriate for it. So it's really soft. It's long. I really love long tank tops. Um, if they're too short, it bugs me and it makes me feel like I'm almost wearing a belly top shirt. Man, I feel like I'm trying to think of a word back from the 90s. But another one of the shirts that I really like that I got from the, and this was $20, but I actually became part of their love club, which I then got 20% off of their, off of the prices. So, and this was actually the very last um, shirt in this pattern which actually has angel wings on it and then on the inside it has the affirmation I am blessed. I'm not sure if you're really going to see it. You can kind of see it but so and this was actually $10 on sale and then I got 20% off as well. It's so soft and I want to show you the now I guess I'll show you this one but that's actually the older um, this is the older tag, but it actually has on here, Made in Los Angeles, ingredients 100% GOTS certified, GMO free, which is another huge thing. You really want to avoid GMOs, which are genetically modified organisms. You want to avoid GMOs in your clothing and also in your food, as well as your skincare, body care, perfume, all of that. But, uh, GMO free organic cotton. And then it says dyed with low impact dyes. So that's really what you want. And no, I, I knew this before reading this tag, just an FYI, but I really like that they actually tell you what they're doing and that they're saying it because I really think that if companies are doing all that, they typically want to tell you, they want to tell the customer that, look, we're not using chemicals, we're not using synthetics, we're not using harmful uh chemicals, products, anything, ingredients, we're actually doing, trying to be good to the environment. So I really think that's important and I think that ingredients of anything says so much more than actually what a company necessarily says and what they're advertising to you. But So I really love this. It's so soft. It's actually ridiculous how, how much softer 100% organic cotton really is compared to like polyester. And the interesting thing is within the past three or four months, I've only had these for about a month, um, my skin has been getting so much more sensitive to anything that has polyester or spandex or nylon in it, especially on my arms. Like I'll just get, I'll be wearing it and I'll be like, oh, it feels so itchy. But I have that one. And then the other one, that one's I Am Blessed. And then this one is the I Am Beautiful one. And now this, you're going to see the back, but that's, that's the front, and then that's the back. I actually can't remember what process she uses, but it's actually a really cool process. It's actually on her um, YouTube channel, which I believe is either Within or Within Organics. Um, but And then that's the sleeve, and then that's also on the other sleeve. And then you're not going to be able to see it, but on this sleeve, it actually, black on black, it says I am beautiful right there. So. It's really pretty, it's really soft. 
I really love it. It's actually comparable to the Henley tops that I've been getting, or that I had been getting from uh, the Victoria's Secret pink line, but it's 100% organic. Now this one is actually made in Peru. It is not made in the U.S. So not all of her uh, tops are actually made in the U.S. I think it partly depends on the style of the top and also partly depends on when she made them because um, she was actually apparently the first customer for like the this um, Los Angeles uh, company. But it's really cool. This one I did get full price. These two were on sale. Um, I think this, this tank top is back up to $25, but I did pay $37 for this and then the 20% off. And I did end up paying shipping, but I think I ended up saving like $16. I don't know. I also got a really awesome, beautiful green t-shirt with a sun on it. Uh, that, that, that positive affirmation was, um, I am joyful. I got that t-shirt for my mom and that was me in the U.S. as well. So like I said, it kind of depends on the, the cut, I think, of the shirt and also when she made them. But I really like them. She seems very sweet and she only has a limited amount of stuff, but I mean, granted, she's, she's printing the stuff on and then, she, um, not actually making the shirts and stuff, but it's just really pretty. I really like them. I really hope she makes more tank tops. <laughs> but I just really, really love them. So, yeah. So that's, like, the first kind of company that I actually found that I'm like, yeah, there's actually tops that I like that are 100% organic. So, yeah. And then, let's see. the Another random thing that I got was that I've been trying to find um, a... Uh, underwire free bra and so this is actually a blue canoe organic which is 90% certified organic and then 10% spandex or lycra I can't remember so it's well 10% lycra spandex so I was right both ways but it's it's really nice I'm not anti completely spandex because let's face it with things like especially with like kind of like a sports bra kind of low impact sport bra thing um it's kind of nice to have a little bit of stretch to it so but it's honestly really really soft I've been really enjoying this um and it washes up really nicely like I just washed it in the washing machine and then air dried it and it comes out really nicely and I got it off of Casper Organics now. This is made in the U.S., so it's really awesome. And I got, I think I said CasperOrganics.com, and with a K, not a C. And I think I ended up paying 35 or $36 for it, which is a little bit more expensive than I would have necessarily initially expected, but granted, it's made in the U.S., it's mostly organic cotton. I can survive. And then, I think the final thing, yay, I'm almost to the end, is actually this really cool thing. I ended up finding out about a company called Simply Straws, and they actually make um, glass straws, which is really cool. And they had this thing in April that if you pledge to use, uh, to not use, plastic straws to um, to pledge against them that they would actually give you a free clear straw. Now you could it was seven dollars and fifty cents towards anything. You didn't have to get the clear straw and so I ended up actually getting the blue one just because I figured especially if I'm out the restaurant at a restaurant, I probably would more likely remember this if it was a pretty color. So I ended up getting this blue straw, which I think a colored straw was a dollar more, so maybe an eight fifty. And then I also ended up getting a carrier just because I figured, you know what, let's be honest, it'd be easier to actually have a carrier. And what's cool is they use organic cotton, organic hemp, and some other textile, I can't quite remember at this point, but for their um 
containers for for their uh, holders for their covers and it's really soft it's really nice and actually works very nice and then I got it as a kit and then this came free the little cleaning thing and these are dishwasher safe and the other cool thing is it's actually very sturdy I thought that would be feel a little bit more fragile but it's actually very very sturdy I really really like it and it's just really nice I really really like it and I actually haven't even used straws too much except in restaurants for a really long time and these are made in the US as well which is awesome and yeah I just I really like I have a really good feeling about that company as well so it's really fun to be finding these companies that are USA based that are trying to do something good for the environment to try to protect our health and the environment's health so it's really really cool so yeah I think that is it I think I've talked about everything there actually was one other thing that I was going to talk about but I'll just do that as a separate video because I'm already probably over time so I hope you have a sunny day like I said at the beginning of part one I don't even remember what part this is. Is this part four? <laughs> but if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below in this or in any of the other videos that are part of this favorites, monthly favorites vi uh, video series. So I'll see you later. Bye.